Hey, we're going to connect your speakers to your TV. We're going to do so through your TV's aux port. Yup, even if your speakers don't have that very same aux port. Here on Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials short and sweet. Now you might be wondering, why can't I just get a cable with both connections or maybe even an adapter? Well, here's the thing. Imagine this here being the signal that travels through your aux cable. And this one on the right is the optical cable signal. Very different, right? So in order to make it from your TV to your speaker, at some point, that signal is going to need to be changed. Once it is, you'll have a much richer TV experience. But are we going to have to become sound engineers for this? Of course not. We'll let a handy device take care of it. That device being an analog to digital converter. It'll receive our TV's analog sound signal and automatically convert it to a digital signal to make its way to your speaker via your optical cable. If you don't have one yet, I'll leave links to that and other things in the description to help you get started and truly take your sound to the next level. All right, cool. Let's move into our quick how-to. First of all, I want to say that the converter is going to need power. I've seen some results without it, but I don't trust them. If you insist on getting one without a power source, at least check the reviews first. Right, now onto our speaker. We'll take our optical cable from here and plug it into our converter on the output end. From here, our converted sound will go to our speaker. Before you select your converter, make sure that it does say analog to digital. This is super important, so I repeat, analog to digital. Be sure to have a second look because they're very easy to mix up with digital to analog converters, which will not work for the analog to digital setup we have here. Let's move on to our TV. Through the audio line out or headphone jack, plug in your aux cable and the other end to the converter's aux port. Make sure your converter has this port on the input side. If it only has RCA ports, pick up either one of these or these to adapt accordingly. Now turn everything on. Your TV, make sure all volume sources are up and that the converter is on. A light will typically come on when it gets plugged in. If you don't immediately get sound coming through your external speakers, look into your TV's audio settings to select that. Now each brand has different terminology, but look for something regarding audio output. Now on the flip side, if you do need to connect optical to aux, here's a video for that. And check out my channel for more speaker tutorials. Also, I have TV video tips on Simple Cafe Vision. Thanks and I hope you get connected. See ya.